I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. It's great to see you again. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently up 1.13% to 59.115. Ethereum up 2.12% to 4374. My goal is to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love and also gain real wealth in the process. Rule 774, master yourself to master the market. As a community, we focus on real wealth. Real wealth is much more than money, but of course it includes it. Real wealth components also include inner and outer peace, purpose, fearlessness, courage and honor, fulfillment and meaning. They're the special spice in life that actually makes life worth living. Trading and investing crypto is really difficult. You always come up against self-sabotage and self-doubt. There's a lot of fear in the crypto space. Fear, uncertainty and doubt or FUD and fear of missing out or FOMO. When you totally understand that you're worthy and unique, there's only ever one of you in this world and therefore you deserve kindness, love, meaning and every success in life. This can really help to offset any fears that you will fear because of self-sabotage and self-doubt. It's critically important to look at Bitcoin's price action. Why is that? Because of rule 45, no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. But what does this really mean? If Bitcoin is going down and going down hard, practically every single alt will be following Bitcoin. If the reverse is true, if Bitcoin is skyrocketing, you will find the alt skyrocket too. It's just the way it works. It's really important to understand how Bitcoin is moving the market. We can see Bitcoin currently trading at 59073. We have a level of support below Bitcoin's price. We've been able to bypass three levels of resistance. This is really good. Bitcoin's price is making its way up to resistance at around the 61897 mark. There are three potential headwinds in the market at the moment. One is the Mt. Gox remediation. The second one is the December the 3rd debt ceiling and December 28th, there will be an Evergrande issue. But we need to look through and see how significant these really are. I think a lot of people were faked out by the Mt. Gox news, but we'll have a look at that right now. We can see the Mt. Gox reserves the remediation to pay out 137,890 Bitcoin is not underway at the present time. And there is some doubt if all of that reserve will be paid out as well. When looking at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we can see the current Crypto Fear and Greed Index is 49. Up from much lower values recently, it went down to 34. It's really good to see these drops of fear in the market or the increase of fear in the market. It enables many good actual things to happen. One is clearing out over leverage long positions. That is not a bad thing to do. And also drawing in, calling in shorts to the market will actually, when shorts get liquidated, explode price in an exponentially higher direction. Turning to liquidations across the past 24 hours, there was 164.25 million across 50,062 trading positions. Over the past 12 hours, nearly 53% of those liquidations were long liquidations. And we can see across the weekend that the liquidations have calmed down. We're starting to see more short liquidations than long, and that is pushing the price up. Price is always moving in a wave. When we look at any price chart, this is a very important concept to understand. When price moves in a wave, it's also always cycling up and then down, cycling up and then down. Down waves get up waves, up waves get down waves. This really helps people to have a better perspective on the market. We can see right now that the Mt. Gox issue is not an issue. The second thing that we need to look at is the debt ceiling. Looking at the Wall Street Journal, we had an article back quite a few days ago where Janet, Yell Janet Yellen said that by December the 15th, the US could be unable to pay its bills. 
it's not really sparking the imagination of anyone. You can see that there's no further articles written in the Wall Street Journal so far on that topic. But as we get closer, it will become an issue. I think that there will be a lot of instability in the market, but this will just be a fantastic buying opportunity. Of course, the US government is going to increase the debt ceiling. Of course it is. It needs to pay its bills, but there will be some political wrangling. It's just what politicians do. From that perspective, I don't really see too much issue around the debt ceiling. It could cause some short-term instability in the markets. And that's fantastic because that lowers our average buy price. The important thing to remember, if you're holding crypto, if you're holding anything as an investment, and it actually decreases in price, so long as you haven't sold it, that is only a paper loss. It's a loss that happens on paper. When price goes up, you get a paper gain. You have to be able to lock in those gains at some stage. But for the moment, we're in the bull market. So we're holding on to those cheaper positions wherever we can get them. I don't believe that the debt ceiling will be any kind of issue long term. But in between, if we're lucky enough to get prices to come down to the 55590 mark and the 49305 mark, because there will be such a big deal song and dance about it, but not right now. They'll leave it until it's some sort of crisis. The other thing we have to keep our eye on is the Evergrande situation. The easiest way to track, track the Evergrande situation is to simply follow the share prices of Evergrande in the Chinese market, Fantasia Holdings, Greenland Holdings, Country Garden, and Vanke. If we just follow the price action, we've got all the facts that we need. We can see things are stabilizing in the market at the moment. We really want to see these share prices increasing. If we see them falling down, we'll know that insiders are selling. Until that happens, we'll just keep our eye on things. Checking in the Wall Street Journal again, we've seen China's Evergrande's electric vehicle unit raise $347 million from the share sales that they performed. Well done. That's going to certainly help keep things afloat. What can, what can we conclude from all of this? We can basically say there may be some negative pressure on prices in the immediate term. But if we get across this particular resistance line and start to progress above 61897, that is looking really, really healthy. We're in the right part of the bull market. So if we are fortunate to be able to buy at lower prices, this is fantastic. I don't believe we're going to get the opportunity again before prices start to really rock and roll. Now, why do I say that? Because when we look at the KS model, which is a crypto technical trading model based on institutional price psychology. We can see we're in the bull market segment of the current run. Every run has a bull market, a bear market and consolidation. We're expecting the bull market peak around the 25th of May 2022. And we can see that price is obeying this very nice level of support. I believe we're going to very shortly get a bounce and things are going to get very interesting. But there is a lot of resistance above Bitcoin's previous high. The key psychological level that people need to get past is that $70,000. When we get past $70,000, I believe things are going to get very healthy very quickly. What that means is that there is a key psychological level at 70,000. When it is bypassed, I believe there's nothing much stopping Bitcoin from just ascending higher. The critical skill for any investor and trader in crypto is to make in advance probabilistic choices to know what they're going to do if things suddenly turn around and pole vault up or if things suddenly collapse or if they get really boring and just go sideways. Having a strategy for all three things at all times is really important. It's just literally knowing what you will do and then sticking to that action. The key to remember is that even when we're in a bull run, things will fluctuate wildly in price. We'll get 20, 30, 40, 50% drawdowns 
and they are very hard to stomach if you are ready for them it's so different you can just say okay i understand this price has moved in a large wave up of course it's going to move down price is always moving in a wave up and down when you actually apply the 10 5 10 fund volatility fund rule you can actually pick up very cheap crypto because you take advantage of that volatility let's have a look at some on-chain data we can see the stablecoin supply ratio ssr oscillator we can see the through this blue line stable coins are coming into the market and being deployed into bitcoin there was a bit of a lull in that stable coins are starting to flow into bitcoin again that's very good for positive price momentum if we look at bitcoin net unrealized profit and loss nupal we can see we're not anywhere near this euphoria we're not registering any blue we're down here just come out of this sort of brown area the optimism anxiety area and we have belief and denial in the market at the moment euphoria has not set in when things get euphoric we need to pay a lot of attention because that will signal a blow off top we can also triangulate euphoria like we saw in the previous blow off top because the search terms for bitcoin just go parabolic we're down here at the moment it's definitely increasing but it's not blowing up at the moment and that's a pretty good thing that just means that we can acquire our cryptos a little bit more cheaply than what we would have if price had took off on us we can see that the number of bitcoin addresses is also growing when it goes parabolic like this we're heading up to the exponential blow off top and the finalization of the bull run but it's really important to understand there's so many advantages that occur in the bear market crypto trading and investing is a lifelong pursuit it just doesn't start and stop in a bull market we can see from bitcoin that there's been quite a sell-off of late but does this mean that the whole market went down are there any positive 30-day gainers yes there's quite a lot and this is always the case even in bear markets we can see loopring lrc increased nearly 500 percent over the last 30 days sand the sandbox went up 440 percent gala 436 percent kadena nearly 400 percent there are always opportunities one thing that's really good that happens in a bear market the opportunities get concentrated and that makes them actually safer not more risky we always have so many fantastic community comments and one particular comment i'd like to address and that was when you buy at a specific price say somebody buys something at a dollar and then the price is going up and it's above the dollar and it retraces should you wait till it goes below the initial point that you bought the dollar or should you just look at the trend see where the particular crypto is going if it's in a bull trend is it advisable to buy the pullbacks and to buy at higher average buy prices absolutely it is that is what professional traders and investors do because why is that they want something that is actually appreciating in value they want something that's going up that's why i always talk about rule 138 all investors become traders whenever they buy or sell if you have a trader's mindset and an investor's outlook you're literally unbeatable traders are very skillful at detecting entries and exits investors are incredibly skillful at holding combine the best of both worlds oh my goodness you're just the best let's have a look through the community favorites we can see vra veracity coming back to support seeking to cross over resistance it's getting there we could see vra breaking out soon let's just keep an eye on that one it looks quite interesting icon is also looking good it's over a level of resistance it's turned it to support and is starting to make its way up 
In the masterclass, I will teach you so many ways to analyze charts. It's really, really interesting. Many of those ways have never been discussed in public before. That is because they require a lot of foundation knowledge. I need to make sure everybody's on the same page. IOTEX. IOTEX is coming back to a level of support still under resistance. IOTA is holding its support and is finding support throughout this price range here. Let's see how that one plays out. Could be quite interesting to look at. Multivac. We can see Multivac lost its support, turned it to resistance, but shot through again. That's showing consolidation above that line is possible now. When we look at Chili's, Chili's is coming back to a level of support and actually bounced from it really well. It's at an area of consolidation, but it's still under a degree of resistance. We just need to see how that one will play out. Loopring LRC has done incredibly well. It's just incredibly exploded in price. If we just zoom in here, what we can see in a second that's better what we can see is that lrc is starting to overcome resistance at the very early stages of doing that finding some support hopefully it can continue its upward momentum and we can see cartesi is very interesting as a particular chart a lot of spiky action could make a lot of people very wealthy if they do spike trading. Spike trading is something that I go through in the masterclass. We can see here that Cartesi CTSI has maintained this level of support really well. As a bonus, why don't we look through the metaverse? We can see Mana Decentraland really doing incredibly well. If you think that it's come up from 75 cents to nearly $4, that just exceptional play. Axie Infinity is still below resistance, but seeking to stabilize at the moment above support. We can see Engine Coin getting above resistance and rallying from support as well. Looks very, very healthy. SLP is currently under resistance, but starting to turn around. Sand. Sand is another one. Oh my goodness, it's just done so incredibly well. We can see it's over resistance and it's being supported upwards in terms of price. ILV is currently under resistance, just like Axie Infinity is under resistance as well. Alice is breaking out. Poor old Alice is breaking out. Well, it's a breakout. That's a good thing. Well done, Alice. And I thought you might like to have a look at Boson, which was something that community members suggested that I have a look at. We can see Boson has been doing really well, a level of support. It's just broken down below that support at the moment, but it's supporting above a previous high, which is always a really good sign. And we can see it's just moving in line with Bitcoin's price dynamics anyway, the gravity. In episode 334, I discussed a little bit about NFT domains. I think NFT domains are the way to make money in the metaverse. And it's really interesting. A lot of people are buying land in the metaverse. Of course, that is a great way to make money too. But I think that buying an NFT domain is an unseen, unheard of thing right now. Now, what are NFT domains? It's your universal name across apps and websites. It is a website URL. The thing that you do when you buy an NFT domain, you get a website, but you don't have to renew it every single year. They can be very expensive to renew. You just buy it once and that's that. But it's a little bit more than a website URL, like smile.com would become smile.crypto. It's really part of the fabric of the next Internet of Value. That particular thing that looks like a website URL, I'll show you in a minute, is actually a payment address for wallets. Instead of giving people a big, long, random string of characters and saying, pay my wallet here, you can give them one of these NFT domains. It's just incredible stuff. 
and you'll see that there's so many things that you can actually do. You can replace that cryptocurrency address with a human readable name. In a couple of years, this will be incredibly important to do. I don't think people realize how powerful this could be. You can actually send and receive cryptocurrencies to your address. How fascinating, what a fantastic thing to be able to do. And there are no renewal fees ever. That is all about ownership. It's not like a domain name like smile.com. When you get something like smile.crypto, you actually own it. It's yours. It's just phenomenal. And you'll be able to point your crypto domain to a decentralized storage network so that it can serve content. Just fantastic. Let's have a look if we wanted an NFT domain with the word metaverse. You know, metaverse is so hot right now. Oh, they're all gone. But you know what? They have a thing called premium domains. I don't suggest you buy a premium domain. I suggest that you get really creative with what you want to do. Look at this pay.x or triple eight dot NFT selling here for 250,000. These things haven't even got started yet, but what could it all mean? I'm just going to use a bit of a silly example. For example, say you wanted this particular domain. Now, no one wants that, but what you see is you can buy a dot X, a dot crypto, a dot coin, a dot wallet, a dot Bitcoin, dot triple eight, dot NFT, dot DAO, DAO, dot Zill, and coming will be dot blockchain. The really interesting thing that I do, I have got literally hundreds and hundreds of these domains. I get them all. When I see something, a search term, for example, something that I believe people will want in the future, and that comes down to a question that was asked, how long would you hold on to these things for? You might hold on to it for a little while, and that's okay because you can use them anyway. It's a wonderful thing. You can use whatever you buy, but I would suggest in getting all of them if you find something just sensationally good. Let's just pretend that you wanted to get something like Bitcoin rules. You could get the dot X for this and the dot DAO if you wish. You can see that all of the other ones are taken except the blockchain one, which will come out later. This is a really good way of doing things to pick some particular search term that you can own everything in. That's actually what I do. Now, why do I do that? Why don't I just get dot crypto? Because many people just do that. If you have an outrageously good search term and just think about domain names as they were in the 1990s, when people just registered business.com or accounting.com, they didn't think too much about it, but those domains ended up being worth a tremendous amount of money. This is just an example, carinsurance.com for $50 million. These people, when they registered their domains, they probably didn't think too much about it. They probably thought, oh, I'll pay my $75 to Network Solutions as it was back then, or even more, $100. And they got their particular domain name. I don't think very few people would have expected that they could sell those domain names for $50 million or above $17 million. Well, that's kind of nice retirement. So let's see if there's any crossover. This was sold for $35 million. Let's see if we can get the crypto equivalent. Arg, not any luck with that one. But you can understand if some of these were available, because the dot crypto is available or the dot X was registered. If these were unregistered, you could actually trade off vacation rentals. Somebody would want it. I just think about it this way. We've got billions and billions of people in the world. Some of those will really want a specific name and they won't care too much what the extension is. They may want dot crypto, but they may not be able to afford the price tag so they can drop down to lower price tag ones, but they'll still be really, really considerable. 
We also had some really cool discussion. Rex said that he registered more than 30 domains, one including the word metaverse. On your rect, you're going to be huge. It will be huge. Crypto Turtle just registered 10 F NFT domains. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> How gorgeous. Go for a Crypto Turtle. We wish you well. Leslie, should you get different NFT names or the same name, different endings like Cyber Wallet? I would suggest, Leslie, you go for it. If it's really, really good name, uh, Crypto Turtle said it, I buy them all. And good names can sell for big prices. One thing that you might like to do when you go to premium domains, you can actually click this little thing, category, three characters. And maybe you want to go into games and sports, for example. It gives you an understanding of what is selling out there. You can see gambling.crypto, gambling.coin, gambling.bitcoin. Maybe there's gambling something else. You can do a derivation of this word. There's always things that you can do. You can get really, really creative. If you'd like to get to this website, I've got the link in the description of this video. I hope it helps out and I hope you all become millionaires. Go for it. One thing that you might like to look at is win.crypto sold for 100,000, gambling.crypto sold for 100,000. You can still buy gambling.coin if you wanted to. Gamblers.888 sold for 75,000. We can see win.888 for 50,000. And it's really interesting, action.crypto 50,000. It goes to show you that these things actually have a market. And can you imagine just going in and paying $40 or whatever, and then turning that into 50,000, 75,000, 100,000. But that's just now. Two years down the street, I believe they'll be worth millions if you get the right name. I hope you get the right name. I'd like to thank the very kind and generous community members who've reached out and bought me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash crypto trading KS. Thanks so much, everyone. I'd just like to thank Joe, Cal, Wabale, Tinkertick. Thank you, Tinkertick. Very nice. Hi, Ken. Following a set of rules that gives you confidence is great. Not selling when things go south and to maybe even add a few more to your favorite crypto at lower prices. It's all about information and believing in yourself. Beautiful Tinker Tick, you're on it. Thanks for all your self power videos. You're very welcome, my friend. And Mitzi, very grateful to have your advice and to be able to sleep again. Wow, that is fantastic. And many of these comments here, they're actual comments, but I never log in through my particular, I always log out so that I just show the public comments. I never show private comments. Thank you very much to everyone. A lot of people have expressed interest in the masterclass that I'm currently putting together. I'm still in the process of putting it together. It will be video format content so that you can just log in and just watch the videos. Those videos will be on a separate platform not on YouTube. It is definitely taking some time, but I very much believe in giving you the highest value content that I can possibly give. The other thing to note, the masterclass will not assume any previous knowledge. Although it says masterclass, it will build everything from the ground up. If you would like to express your interest in the masterclass, please contact me by email at ken at kenstanfield.com. Stanfield has two Ds. The focus of our community is in building real wealth. Real wealth is a positive life trend. Having integrity and decency, inner and outer peace, being able to show gratitude, experiencing happiness, but also fearlessness, courage and honor, empathy and love. These things build fulfillment and meaning in a life, and they are as essential as money is. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video if you think it will help others. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. Please say hi and let me know where you're viewing from and if you have any questions.
If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, take care, and see you next time. Bye for now.